Welcome back to the Contractor's Compass YouTube channel. Today we are testing wood glues. We have quite an array of glues to test today. We have the whole lineup from Type Bond, including the Type Bond Original, Type Bond 2 Premium, Type Bond 3 Ultimate. From Gorilla, we have their classic wood glue and their Gorilla Wood Glue Ultimate. And then as a baseline, we have Elmer's Glue All to see how the rest of these stack up against it. I'm very excited for these tests because I've always used Type On 2 Premium as my wood glue of choice, and I'd love to see how the other glues I've chosen today stack up against Type On Premium. In terms of price, there was a medium range between the cheapest glue and the most expensive glue, with the cheapest glue being the Elmer's Glue All at $2.64 for the bottle. The next cheapest glue was the Type Bond Original, which was $3.68 for an 8 ounce bottle. Next up, we had the Gorilla Plain Wood Glue, which was $4.37 for an 8 ounce bottle, though this is a smaller bottle because I couldn't find the 8 ounce bottle in my local stores. Next up, we had the Type On 2 at $5.48 per bottle. And then was the Type Bond Ultimate at $7.48. And finally, the Gorilla Ultimate, which was $7.98. All of the glue bottles, except for the Elmer's Glue All, came with the wood applicator tip, which is very nice for spreading wood glue onto wood surfaces. It provides a nice, wide, thin bead of wood glue. The Elmer's Glue All came with this very cheap little nozzle, though you can find Elmer's Glue All with a wood applicator tip if you pay a little bit. To test the strength of the various wood glues we have here, I am going to glue these little rectangles of plywood into keys like that. And then we will pull them apart like that and see which one's the strongest wood glue. I am going to be making five samples for each wood glue. Once all of the samples had been put together and dried for 24 hours, I drilled a hole in the top of each sample to allow for a shackle to be passed through. Then the samples were allowed to dry for another seven days to ensure they were completely set. So what the test setup looks like in the machine. We have the sample clamped like this right here. And then we have two clamps holding the base of the sample down. And then above is a shackle holding to the load cell. And this is a 600 pound load cell. So this is the test setup we did for all of the different pieces. So here's the digital readout for the tensile tester. On the left you can see the amount of displacement. And on the right, you can see the amount of force it took to pull the sample apart. As you can see on the right, it is also recording the peak amount of force it took. When a test is started, it zeroes itself uh, to make sure that it's accurate. Then starts the test. After the samples have been tested to failure, you can see that the Elmer's glue adhered much less to the wood than the other wood specific glues. On the left is the Elmer's glue and looking at them closer it's clear that it didn't really grab onto the wood grains. Whereas the other ones, if you look closer, you can see that there's much more adherence to the wood grains and much more of the wood grains have been pulled out after testing. After all five tests had been completed for each type of wood glue, I averaged the failure points for each wood glue and made a graph of the results. In first place is the Tight Bond Premium, which on average broke at 222.2 pounds. In second place is the Tight Bond Ultimate, which broke on an average of 201.2 pounds. In third place is the Glue All, which is kind of a toss up, I wasn't expecting that, at 188.9 pounds. In fourth place is the Gorilla Wood Glue at 185.3 pounds. In fifth place is the Gorilla Ultimate at 174.8 pounds. And in final last place is Tight Bond Original at 130 pounds. 
Four of the glues that we're testing today claim to have some sort of water resistance. The Gorilla Wood Glue and the Type Bond 2 Premium both claim to be water resistant, whereas the Type Bond Ultimate and the Gorilla Glue Ultimate both claim to be waterproof. I'm interested to see how these glues do when in wet or damp conditions. With some of the wood glues that are being tested today claiming to be able to be used in wet conditions, I was interested to see how all of these glues would fare under wet conditions. To test this, I took five more samples of each wood glue, prepared identically to the ones in the dry test, and soaked them in water for an hour. After the hour, I repeated the same test process that I did for the dry samples, and these are the results. These results from the wet test really shocked me because I was expecting the wood glues that were purpose made for wet conditions to perform the best, whereas they didn't. Across the board, all of the wood glues are only about 40% as strong as they are in dry conditions, with the exception of the glue all, which lost about 70% of its original strength. For the wet tests, the winner was Type On Premium again, holding a one, an average of 131.9 pounds. In second place was the Type On Ultimate, holding an average of 117.3 pounds. In third place was the Gorilla Wood Glue, holding an average of 115.3 pounds. In fourth place was the Glue All, holding an average of 106.8 pounds. In fifth place was the Gorilla Ultimate, holding an average of 95.2 pounds. And in last place was the Type On Original, only holding 95 pounds on average. After all the testing was performed, the Type On 2 is still my favorite glue out of this bunch, with it being able to hold an average of 222.2 pounds in the plain strength test, and then in the water log strength test, it was able to hold the most at 131.2 pounds. In all categories, it beat the other glues, which was very impressive, especially since it only claims to be water resistant and not waterproof, and it still beat the Type Bond Ultimate and the Gorilla Glue Ultimate in the water test. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon on the Contractors Compass YouTube channel.